Praise the Lord, Victory family and friends. Thank you for joining me today for our word of encouragement. God loves you today. I love you today. You are blessed today in the name of Jesus. I want to turn your attention to John chapter 14, the first verse, but then we'll also look at, I believe in that same chapter, we'll look at the 27th verse. Now in John 14, 1, notice it says, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. That is our responsibility. And in the things that are going on in our nation today, so many people's heart is troubled. And I hope you're not one of them. He said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. What is he saying? He says, listen, if you believe in God, believe in me. Jesus saying to his disciples, look, I'm here. I'll take care of you. I'll provide for you. I'll make things happen on your behalf. You don't have to be worried and full of anxiety and fear. Don't let your heart be troubled. I will see to it that you will be okay. Sounds like the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So listen, as a believer, as a Christian, please, please understand that Jesus has left you peace. He says, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. And so now let's look at this in the 27th verse. It says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Two times in the same uh, message, Jesus is saying to his disciples, you don't let this world mess with your heart, your emotions, your mind, your peace. And I'm saying that to you as well. Well, how can I make sure my heart's not troubled? Well, you spend time with God. You understand that God cannot lie. All of his promises are yes and amen, that he's the God of hope. You know that he never leaves you nor forsake you. You have to understand the love of God for you. Remember, I'll close. He says, nothing shall separate you from the love of God. So listen. Look up to God and say, God, I cast all my cares upon you. I will not be a person full of anxiety and worry and fear. I will not let my heart be disturbed, my emotions be messed up over what's going on in this world and over anything economically, etc. because you are my God. And you said, if I believe in God, believe also in you. You know that Jesus is the universal and supreme head of the church? You know, in Hebrews, the Bible says that Jesus is faithful over his house and we are his house. He's faithful. He's not going to desert you. He's not going to let you down. Jesus will see to it that every need of your life is met and that you're blessed going out and blessed coming in. And that, and that as we stay with him, that we rise up and we're the head and not the tail. God bless you today.